Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a little bit in the early evening for me, so I do apologise about my poor lighting in this video. But as you can see, today I am doing a Diamond Art Club unboxing. And yes, as you can see, it is already opened up at the top there, but I've done that just to save a bit of time. So let's see which one this is. And I can see straight away that is a different packaging box from previous boxing, well, unboxing videos. As we can see the difference here, because I've got one to hand. This is the autism one, as you've seen in one of my previous videos. And this one looks completely different straight away. So let's just see how this one pans out oh, it weighs a ton let's just say but with halloween coming up as well i have ordered the bottled halloween painting by sandra evans and it is a square that is really really different the only difference i see straight away is the box is still holographic, but it hasn't got the holographic pattern on it from the previous one. So, oh, I do apologize for that sound. I didn't realize how tough this is going to be. So, let's just get into this as best as we can. Well, that painting weighs a ton to me. That is really, really, really heavy. So, this is going to be an interesting one to unbox. But yeah, it's a um, 25.6 by 32.2 inches. So, it's a beast size of a painting. And this is very, very different. It's a slide out box. That is very different. I've never seen something like that before. Wow. But yeah, we've got your basic toolkit. We'll go through that in a second because if I can see straight away, the toolkit has changed. So we'll have a little look at that. I wonder what this is. I have seen in um, previous videos that some people have got um, like trading cards or something like that. But this is a different like little instruction booklet. And you've got your little legend sheet that looks like a booklet. So that is really different. Wow. I can't really lose that, so I'll put that all back together. Because nobody wants to lose that. And let's get this painting out. Oh! Here's the trading card. Wow. Oh, wow. That is... Wow. Hmm. Huh. It's got a little scratch on the back, so I'll do that a bit later to see what's behind that. But that is something different. Wow. Just look at the holographic in that. Wow. I, I did not expect to see that, in all honesty. That is something completely different. But this is what everyone wants to see. If Miss Butterfingers didn't drop it. Oh. 
but yes this is a very big painting as we can see it does have the drills inside the canvas so let's get that out that is a lot that is well more than i thought wow so that's going to be very interesting wow well we can have a little look at them in a second once we've um, unveiled the painting and oh my jesus let me just do the reverse roll to try and help flatten it. Wow, I was not expecting it to be this big. Wow. But oh my word wow and believe it or not guys this is actually my first halloween painting as well just look at the size of that that is unbelievable wow and it says on here as well that there's 56 colors and it looks like there's four um fairy dust colors and three ab's so mm. no one ab sorry one ab i do apologize one ab and four fairy dust all right if you do not like the crinkling sound i do apologize so please mute this for maybe five ten seconds while i get this packaging opened and i will be with you as quickly as i can because i know that a lot of people do not like crinkling i'm trying to talk over it but sometimes my talking does not help but here we go and oh my word that is a lot of colour. I think what we need to do first is um, we'll go to the toolkit first because this is something different and then we'll look into the drills and the colours. Right, in the toolkit it says it comes with a twist and pick applicator with putty and multi places. So this must be like a new pen or something. So this would be interesting to try and work if my camera wants to try and get into focus. Come on, let's bring it in. Bring it in. There we go. So that's a new pen. And it also comes with your baggies to keep all the drills in so this must be the putty it was talking about i'm seeing this um, jewel kit for the first time the same as all of you if you have not seen this kit yet but straight away even the drill tray is different because it comes with a lid which is different but and it only comes with one plate of wax and you've got your single placer and your multi placer normally it comes with two um plates of wax so just seeing that it comes with one is strange for me because i've always only ever known diamond art club to do two trays of well two plates of wax not just one but at least we can say one good thing as well the tray 
is a lot bigger as well so hopefully we'll be able to fit a lot more drills in and get this painting done a bit quicker than usual with it being a bigger train so let's get on with these colors i'll just grab them as they are because i am planning on kitting up this kit and starting it as soon as because i plan to put this painting in my son's school as a raffle prize for halloween that's coming up but obviously i need to speak to the school and the um pta on that to see what they think but i do plan on putting this into like raffle or auction or something like that just to try and help raise some money for the school but yeah here's the colors if the camera wants to focus right we've got 3832 3799 and we have that one a b which stands for aurora borealis as you can see the difference between the 3799 how full it is to the 107 with that extra little coat of iridescent just gives it that extra little bit of pop and then we've got 3350 893 602 305 778 413 3831 3831 3831 3831 3831 303 653 640 and 302 that is the less used drills and then we get onto the more more used ones Once we go through the drills, we'll have a quick look to see where the um, the AB drill goes and where some of these fairy dust ones go. But we've got 3608. We've got two bags here. There might be some more. I could be wrong. 957. Ah, here's one of them fairy dust ones. It's just got a little bit of glitter on these ones to make them twinkle not shimmer but obviously i can't really show you in this lighting i'm trying my very very best but yeah we've got 554 553 604 814 601 and 817 and that's that just trying to work out like which kind of color these this um z718 is well we can have a look to see where the fairy dust ones are as well but straight away here we are with another one of them fairy dust ones in like an orange color maybe we could and there's three bags of these so if you can see just there in this pack here just that little slight little twinkle of the glitter but we've got 972, 963, 3607, 819, oh, two bags of them, 318, um, that's the other fairy dust one, just trying to put, oh, I don't know if you just saw that little twinkle there, 745, 3685, and the last of the fairy one, Z415, two bags of them, 740, 3823, two bags of the 550, 
And two bags of the 3609. And last but not least, we have got Eight nine four. One, two, three, four bags of one five four. Three eight three four. The infamous three tens. Let's see how many bags of this one we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we've got nine one five. Three eight six five, and we've got three bags of them, and we've got three seven one two. That is a lot of drills for this very large painting. Well, I've got to admit that does look like a really really cool painting. All right, I think for this one I need to sit down. <laughs> so I do apologise. Let me see if I can actually bring this down a little bit as well as I sit down to show you guys. I think that will do. I'm still working out on this um, little new setup of mine, guys, so I do apologise. But... As always, Diamond Art Club does have um, the canvases on a tarpaulin material, so it's nice, strong, sturdy, and self-flattening. As you saw at the start when I unraveled it, I just done it one quick reversed wrap and laid it out, and just look how flat it is already. That is just unbelievable. And the symbols, are clear as anything you can read them but right let's try and work out where these um special drills are like the a b which is one so it's a red so we've got it here and a couple of little scattered up here and tiny little bit down here but these um, special drills, we've got like in shapes of hearts, which is like these little swirls here. And some on the leaves on the bottom of the pumpkin. You might hear a little sound of my little, of my eldest son coming in. I don't know if he will or not. So if you do hear him in the background, I do apologize. And the next one is like a double semi, well, a quarter of a semi a circle. What it looks like. So yeah, let's try and find some of them. Um. Oh, wow, this is going to be tricky. There's just so many symbols; it's hard to see. Wow. I'm actually really, really struggling to see. See where the symbol is. Oh, here we go, here we go. We've got some of it here. So it's like mostly up in the sky up here. Like these little purple bits. And um, the other one is like a arrow pointing to the right. So we've got a lot of it in the tag of the bottle here. Some of it in the pumpkin bottle. A lot of it in the pumpkin. The bat size. Oh, that's going to look really nice in the bat size, I think. Wow. And the other one is the dollar sign. And I can see it's scattered about inside the bottle. 
and a little bit on the top here of the lid. Yeah, when this painting is done, I think this is going to look absolutely amazing. Wow. But if I want to get this done as a raffle prize, I better crack on, get this one kitted up and make a start of it, I think. So I'm going to leave this one here, guys. And um, I'm going to post all the information that I have for this painting in the description box below. And I'm going to try and fill it in if I remember as well as some of the other videos because I've not yet filled in them and description boxes. I do apologise for that because obviously I'm still suffering with baby brain at the moment, even though my baby is now seven months old. I'm still quite forgetful on that. So I do apologise. So as I said, I'll fill in I'll, all the information I can for this painting and... I will also tag, um, well, not tag, sorry. I'll link all of my socials in the description box below, like me, Twitter, uh, which is now X, um, Instagram, TikTok, all them video, well, socials in there. And because this is still currently available on Diamond Art Club's website, I will post the link for it in there along with my affiliate link if it still works. I cannot remember if it still works or not, but I'll try and post that in there as well for first time buyers get some percentage discount. So I'll post that on there as well, but please if you like this video, put a thumbs up, help me out with um, content and um, like it. And please um, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content as well. And if you want to see more videos like this. And um, I will see you all in my next video, everyone. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Bye.